Let's start with a blank project. Tap the arrow to hide away chord properties. You don't need that for now. Every song consists of chords and melody, and we know that most pop songs consist of whole chords. So let's go to the chord section and tap in 1, 6, 4, 5. And let's do it twice. And if you make a mistake, just go to edit and tap on undo. We can decide on the duration of each chord, but for now, we will stay with four counts per chord. Next, we will tap on the melody section. To help us create our melody, we can tap on guides. You will notice that some notes are coloured while others remain white. The coloured note means that these notes belong to the chord. Those are safe notes to choose that will match the chord. I'm going to start with the rest first, with the melody starting on the second beat. I am going to use the C note which belongs to C chord. As I proceed to A minor, chord 6, I would like to use the yellow line which is E note. But between C to E is D, so I'm going to add a passing note from C to D, then moving on to E. I would like to extend the E note, so I'll drag it to the 4th beat. For the F chord, chord 4, I would like to start with F note. I would like to use the orange note, the D note, for chord 5. So I'll add a passing note from F to E, and then now to D. Now let's tap to the start and play back to hear what we have done so far. And I'll continue to write the melody for the rest of the bars. Notice that the melody for the second half sounds similar to the first half. Let's try to include some repetition to make the melody memorable. If I need to change the tempo, just tap on the tempo and adjust the tempo accordingly. I will use 146. And with that, I have a guide track to help me sing the melody to the lyrics.